Hi guys. Today we're going to do a uh, speed run between both of these planes. Uh, they're both FMS. Got FMS uh, Viper 70 millimeter, a Yak FMS 130 70 millimeter. Uh, both run on 80 amp ESCs. I'm going to be running the same battery in both of them. Obviously, these are different styles of planes or jets, uh, but uh, I want to see a, a kind of a difference in uh, speed with these. We have our dynamite ESC going here to record it. I should be able to get it in here without too much of a hassle. I hope. All right, we're going to hit record. We will stuff this in here. I'm hoping this will close with that on. We're going to have to figure out how to get this in here, guys. I'm not sure. I may have to push the battery back a little bit. Um, maybe I can fit it up front. Yep. That's going to have to do. Um, hopefully, it doesn't throw off my CG too much. I don't think it will. I think it'll be okay. Um, but this will close with that. There we go. We're going to do our test run, obviously, or test uh, service test to make sure everything's working. Flaps are gone. That's the elevator, rudder. Throttle, okay, safe's off, down, all right. Take it off into the wind. And we're up. Flaps up, gear up. Flaps up, gears up. I'm gonna apologize in advance for the uh, radio where it's talking about flight back no day. I'm sorry. I I forgot to disable that. Let's do a fast pass real quick. All right, got a little bit of wind today. Uh, it's not horrible. Uh, it's probably about uh, seven miles per hour at least right now. We'll do a low, low speed pass. And we're gonna come back around again and do another full throttle pass and see what we get. So far that uh, extra weight to the back a little bit with the battery is not not really affecting it. That seems to be okay. So let's do a low speed fast pass here. And up. And this thing just glides guys by the way. Uh, I mean I really like this jet. I see a landing gear is kind of stuck down a little bit. Not all the way down, but just a little bit. I'm hoping that's not affecting uh, my speed. I'm going to try to get that up. We're going to go by and we're going to put the gear down. And gear back up. Hopefully that did it. If not, I'm going to have to look at that. Guys, this jet, by the way, the Viper, if any of you are thinking like a uh, first EDF, uh, besides something like maybe a Habu, uh, which I, I have too, that was actually my first, I would recommend uh, this jet right here. It's inexpensive, um, it has great electronics, great power, it flies amazing, it is on rails. It, I've had no issues with this thing. Yeah, we're we're gonna get a got a couple good speed runs already in. I like to go low, guys. I don't know about you all, but I love seeing that thing up close. Not too close. I don't want to get hit by it. Thirty seconds left. So we're gonna bring it back around. I'll do one more pass with it. Pack, no and then we're gonna land it, guys. Wind's picking up a little bit. Don't like that, but it's okay. They'll, they'll both be in the same conditions. As 
Sorry guys, I uh, missed my turn. I gotta bring it around one more time. One more time. <clears throat> that was my fault. Pack, no and we'll do. Take off flaps, flaps. You know what? Takeoff flaps are going to be fine because I got so much wind going today pack, no that it's slowing it down. Yep. Yeah, that wind today is enough. You don't need the, the landing flaps. All right, let's bring this back around. Oh, I see a problem already. I got a, I got a wheel that I got to fix, guys. That's why. Okay. All right, let's see what speed we got today. 103. So I've gotten faster than that before on this thing. Um, that is not bad though. I mean, but 103. All right. I didn't do any high-speed dives or anything like that. So I'm okay. These wires are not the best. They get in the way. These uh, RC, I like the RC Pro Plus connectors, but they, um, they're a little bulky. All right, everything is fit though now. Sorry about the, the delay. Everything's working. We're gonna do takeoff flaps, rudder elevator. All right. Throttle's working. All right. Take it off into the wind. Gear up. Flaps up. gonna get frustrated today because I can already see that this one's got a wheel that's stuck up so let me see if I can get that thing up that's better <sighs> you know I feel like all these planes they have this kind of finickiness with these uh, these wheels sometimes but uh, anyway let's do another high-speed pass here this jet also flies great guys if you want a uh You want a nice jet to see it's easy in the air this this red with the white contrast for the bottom it pops i mean really see it well you know all right we're going to do a uh, another low speed pass see what we can get Yeah, unfortunately, I wish I would have picked a little bit of a calmer day. But it is a beautiful day, I'll say that. I can see the, the gains are a little high. It's getting wobbly in the air a little bit. It's fine, though. And up, rotate. And we'll come back down. Got a good roll rate, guys. Good roll rate to it. I like it. It's it's more than adequate. That is for sure. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna bring this in for a landing. That wind is horrible right now. We got our gear down. Actually, we're gonna go around one more time because with that that wind right now, I don't want to land with that wind. It's too much. probably gusting about yeah now it's bumped up maybe about 15 guys trying to wait for it calm down just a little bit all right we got gear down we're gonna do uh, take off flaps because this wind is strong enough where it is really I'll take that with the wind as strong as it is. I will take that landing all day, guys. And I, I touched down perfect on that one. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's get this battery out of here because, again, that, that GPS is pushed to the back. Let's see what kind of speed we got, guys. 124 wow so uh for today the, the fms yak at 124 if you can see that guys has uh has taken it wow that is quick i did not expect that from this jet that is amazing okay all right guys uh that's it for today